YouTube, what to do, what to do, man. This is Mr. Solo Dello coming back with another video, man. So, um, we finna get right into the topic, bro, of um, sperm retention and why it's so important, why it's so necessary for you to succeed. Because the bottom line is, man, semen retention is necessary for you to succeed. You need, you need semen retention to succeed in life, bro. Remember, this energy is only one energy. It's only one energy that you have in your body, okay? That represents your mental energy, represents your physical energy, okay? It's not just physical energy, mental energy. No, it's your entire energy. It's, it's your entire energy wave inside your body. Like, that's what makes you a man. That's what makes you um, who you are. You know what I'm saying? That's what helps you get things done at a certain point, at a certain time, right? That's what, ma that's, that's what makes you go harder in the gym, right? That's what makes you focus more and concentrate more, right, on, on, on whatever you're doing. This energy that you have inside of you, it's necessary for you to retain it. Because if you're not retaining your energy, bro, you probably already know that you're going to be waking up with so much brain fog. You already know by now that you're going to be waking up feeling lazy, unmotivated, tired all the time, want to go to sleep around, want to take naps around like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, sleeping hella late, getting up hella late, no drive, no hunger, no ambition. You know, you stay... You know, you stay having sex with your woman all the time. You know what I'm saying? You're going to wind up draining yourself. You know, you put more of your energy into your woman than you do your goals. You put more of your energy into the all these females that bring no value to your life into, you know, more than you put that energy into your goals, into your purpose, your purpose and your success. It's like all those things to you don't even matter because you had place value over these women you have placed value on pornography right just pleasuring yourself and i'm telling you right now on this journey bro you have to go through delayed gratification delayed gratification is necessary bro it's 2021 we're about to be in 2022 you know we in a new we in a new damn decade you know what i'm saying we gotta start we have to start changing the script here bro we used to give in back. We used to give in back into our pleasures. We used to give back into our temptations years ago when, when we were teenagers and shit. You know what I'm saying? When it was heavenly pushed on us when we were not even aware on how powerful our energy was. Back when we were kids, back when we were just, you know, getting older and shit, you know, we was not aware of the energy that was inside of us and the power, the power that it has and what it can do for us. So, you know what I'm saying? As a man, any man that's, that's getting into his 20s, that's in their 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever, semen retention is very necessary for the mind, body, and soul. Okay, that's your vital force. That's your life force. That's what makes you a man, bro. That's what increases your testosterone levels. You know what I'm saying? The reason why your testosterone is so low is because you keep on jerking off. You keep beating your meat like it's your job or something. You know, and that's why you ha and that's why you feel the way you feel. That's why you feel depressed. That's why when you go on social media, you look at other people doing better things than what you're doing. You get you you start comparing yourself to them and you start feeling some type of way because that you see them, they got money, they're in that nice little crib, they're in that you know nice little Corvette, and you know, and you ain't doing shit with your life, period. You know, you're not on that type of level. That's because the reason why you're not on that level is because you haven't disciplined yourself to be on that level. The reason why they're on that type of level and the reason why they have that, that, that success that you're seeing is because that person had to sacrifice something. Okay, that person had to sacrifice something like pleasure, okay, like addiction, 
you know, video games, you know, even females, you know what I'm saying? That person had to sacrifice all these pleasures that life likes to putting in a, likes likes to shove in our face, you know, to distract us, to take us off our pivot. And it's like when you sacrifice those things and you put yourself in perspective of what's like really important in life, you're gonna chase what's really important. You're gonna chase your goals, your purpose. Okay? That's gonna be that's gonna be more of your time. That's gonna be more valuable to you in the long run because you know at the, at the end of the day there's a reward there's a reward that comes with that bro the the, the, the years that you spend time grinding on that per, on that purpose right that you spend time building that business yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard time yes it's gonna be a struggle but the struggle gonna be worth it bro the struggle is gonna be worth it in the long run because at the end of the day there's a reward there's a reward for that struggle. And a lot of y'all are not committed enough. A lot of y'all are not willing enough to go through the struggle of what you want in a life. You say you want this, you want that, you wanna, you know, you wanna be driving in this nice little car, you want this house, you want this this amount of money, but you're not willing to sacrifice for it. You're not willing to sacrifice pleasure for that success. That, that that you see other people getting because they tapped into something that you were not aware of you know what i'm saying they they were they were di they were disciplined they were disciplined and that's how and that's how you have to be bro you have to be disciplined you have to hold yourself accountable and start punishing yourself for even relapsing you have to start looking yourself in the mirror and start questioning, why do I keep jerking off? What's the point of masturbating? You're just, you, you keep on working that hand like you're making love to your own hand, bro. Like, seriously, you're making love to your own fucking hand. It's weird. It's weird as shit, bro. Like, if I'm being really honest, bro, I've only masturbated twice in my life. No cap. I've only masturbated twice in my life, bro. Only jerked off twice. The first time it felt all right. Second time, if I felt like shit, I felt like shit. I felt I felt sick to my stomach. I'm not I'm not, I'm not even lying to you. Like I felt sick to my stomach, you know, jerking off and shit because I was losing that vital energy. And that was at a time where I was so aware of my energy. I was so aware of how powerful this thing really is, bro, inside of my body, inside of my system. And that's, and that's why the second time I did it, it felt, I felt like shit. Like I felt so, um, not, not shameful, but I felt like sick in a sense. Like I didn't feel right after it. I was like, you know what, man, I'm never doing that ever again. A, a day in my life. Never, never. It's not worth it. It's not worth the pleasure. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes jerk off eight times nine times ten times a day you know what i'm saying it, it, it's like it's unnecessary bro it's unnecessary you know like that that's disgusting you know what i'm saying to be jerking off that many times a day like you mean to tell me that your entire day is is pretty much committed to you jerking off so you mean to tell me that you have no you have no other time to do anything else throughout the day like, come on, bro. That's weak. That's like, that's real. That's really weak, bro. That's very weak. That you have nothing else to do throughout the day than just masturbate. Like, come on, bro. Man the fuck up. Get over your damn pleasures. Okay, stop being so weak. Stop having, stop having low testosterone levels. Okay, start prioritizing and managing your time wisely, bro. Because guess what? Time don't wait for nobody. And time's not waiting for your ass no more. So start, so start your damn retention journey, bro. Start your retention journey. It'll be the best thing that you ever did in your entire life. The best thing that you ever did in your entire life. I can guarantee you that. You know what I'm saying? But you got to have proper channels to, to direct that energy. To put that energy into a channel that's going to perhaps make you a lot of money, right? A new career, 
working out, getting in better shape. You know what I'm saying? Working on a few projects, putting that in, putting that energy into learning a new skill, right? It can be for a multi, you know, multiple things that you can put your energy into. There's a lot of things you can put your energy into, bro. You just have to find that one thing that 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 wakes you up in the morning. That one thing that that just that it just it just it just gets your ass out of bed. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like you're thinking about it all day, every day. When you go to bed, you're thinking about it. it's on your mind 24 seven. It's 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 one thing that's getting your ass out of bed, right? Nothing else is on your mind but that one thing. You have to find that one passion. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, bro, retention equals success. Okay, it's necessary for success. There has been no other dude, I mean, unless they've been, you know, under the influence of substance or whatever, alcohol, whatever, whatever they're drinking, alcohol, smoking weed, you know, some rappers, you know, they, they get the influence, you know, just from smoking weed. They get their best ideas from smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? That's where they're at their most creative when they smoke weed, you know what I'm saying? But if we're being honest, bro, the, the billionaires millionaires and stuff like that the the biggest entrepreneurs in the world bro like they tapped into something like they realized that their energy within and them abstaining from sex them abstaining from you know masturbating right was essential to their success you know nikola tesla was, is is a prime example you know what i'm saying i, I believe he was a a virgin he never had sex, but he but he realized the importance of his his sperm, right? The vital the, the vital force inside of him. He used that to create. He used that to manifest things, right? Without him, we probably wouldn't even have light. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't have certain things manifest into this world if it wasn't for his discipline and his mind and his, and his creative ability. You know what I'm saying? He realized how valuable that energy was and he transmuted that energy into something, you know, bigger than himself. So I hope you all understand what I'm saying and not and not take this, you know, not 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 take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt because this shit is serious, bro. This is some serious shit, man. Like I'm I'm just I'm just being a messenger, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I don't at the end of the day, you do what you want to do. You do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is, bro, for me, if I want to be successful, I have to retain. I have to retain. Abstaining from pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Not fucking these hoes. You know, having women, bro, if a woman, you know. And that's a tricky thing, too, about women. It's like. You know, are they going to be down for your success? Are they going to come up with you? Are they going to grind with you? Or most of the time, they'll just wait at the finish line for you and wait for you. Then they'll decide whether or not if you're valuable. But it's like, it's like most of these females are not going to come up with a man. You know, rarely does that ever happen. I mean, especially nowadays, especially nowadays. It's it's pretty damn rare for a woman to come up with a man in his success, in his journey. You know, a lot of these women, they just want to wait at the finish line for a man to when he succeeds. And he has it all. He has the big yacht. He has the, the car, the mansion, the, all the money, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, I, I mean, once you have those things, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because, you know, you had a bigger purpose in mind. And you know what I'm saying? Your purpose was way more valuable than all this external shit, than all this materialistic, you know, all these materialistic possessions. Like you had a bigger purpose in mind, right? That's why you're living here. That's why that's why you're here today, because you have a purpose to fulfill. And right, these women ain't your purpose. You know, getting that Corvette, getting that mansion, getting that uh that yacht, that's not your purpose, bro. That shit comes along with it. That's the bonus. That's the bonus, but it's not the purpose, man. It's not the end. It's not the end goal. You know what I'm saying? But you have to retain in order to to unlock your purpose. Like you, everybody has a purpose. 
Don't ever think that you don't have a purpose because you have a purpose. You haven't found it yet. You haven't found it yet. You haven't, you haven't been through enough to even find that purpose that you are looking for. Because the purpose that you are looking for, bro, you know, it's like right around the corner, bro. You have to retain your life force in order for you to, you know, have that purpose be shown to you from God. You know what I'm saying? Like, you cannot be a success and jack off all day, have sex all day. Like, it's it's not it's not possible. It's not possible to, you know, to to to, to freak your girl and the, and then and then to be a successful entrepreneur on top of that. Like, it's just not possible, bro. Like, look at Mike Tyson, for instance. He abstained from sex for, for five years. Five years that man did not have no sex. And he was the greatest boxer of all time, of, of his time, of his, of his generation. Yeah, he was the greatest boxer of his, of, of his generation. You know what I'm saying? He used that energy to channel in into his boxing matches and he became a damn beast. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe me, go watch Mike Tyson's uh, boxing matches from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had no other focus but boxing. You know, that was his, that, that was his life. That was his career. That was his purpose. You know what I'm saying? He had to build that energy up for, like, that amount of time for him to get ready mentally for a fight and physically for the fight. You know what I'm saying? That's how he got prepared. That's how he got better. That's how he was able to win most of his matches. You know what I'm saying? All all big all all athletes, man, they all have to abstain from sex in order for them to mentally prepare for the fight, right? To be at peak level condition, top level condition, whatever. You know what I'm saying? To be at their best. They have to abstain from sex. You know what I'm saying? They can't be wasting their nut on just females. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they just prepare for a fight mentally. So, yeah, man. Like, this shit's necessary. So, at the end of the day, bro, you know, get a retention. You know, it's, 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 it's going to be the best thing for you, for you to do. Um... If you want to be a success, if you want to, you know, level up in life, you want to elevate, you know, you you got to start retaining, man. You got you got to you got to you got to start retaining, bro. That's the only way you're going to start to see like results and growth and progression. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you're going to start to see what your purpose is in this life because all like everything becomes so um everything becomes What's the word I'm looking for? It's like now you start to become aware of, of everything around you, you know, that you were not aware of before. You start unlocking that level of consciousness, right? You start seeing what you start seeing the world for what it really is, man. And you start seeing the greatness inside of you that, you know, you start seeing what you're capable of doing, right? All these doubts, all the, all the fear, all the depression, um, you know, all the, all the limitations, the self-limiting beliefs, man, all that shit is out the window once you start retaining like for 30 days up to 90 days and, you know, you start seeing results in your body, your mindset, you start seeing the world a lot clearer, bro, you start gaining that mental clarity, like everything starts to change and starts to work in your favor, you know what I'm saying, because you are unlocking something great inside of you, you know what I'm saying, although all, all that depression, anxiety, fear, doubt bro like you 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 can uh kiss that shit goodbye because that's no longer going to uh suppress you from leveling up those things are no longer going to stop you from growing anymore because that energy is within you now you have that energy to build up and to transmute and transmute that energy into your goals and your purpose so y'all make sure y'all like the video man Get these likes up. A lot of y'all be viewing, viewing the videos, but the likes don't be up, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Help me get into the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. And more videos are to come, man. Uh, thank y'all for watching, man. God bless. And peace out.